good day. Are we sad? Are we angry? Are we happy? Are we scared? Which of those emotions do we have if we have a good day? Anybody? Happy. So how exactly can you be happy? Well, does anyone remember that they, when they were a kid, simple things made us happy, didn't they? Yes or no? Yes. yes. So what is it about today that makes happiness so complicated? Why is it that having this type of car, having a certain type of love, we expect all those things to be happy. Yeah, when we were younger, it was simple, right? Yeah. And now it's so much more complicated. That's because we have too much expectations. Now, I'm not saying don't expect anything in life because we all want to achieve great things. We all want to be successful, right? Who wants to be successful here? Put up your hands. Me too. But the thing is, when we have too much expe expectations, we create failures in our mind. We have to use our mind, our mindset, to be happy every single day, no matter what happens, no matter what another person makes us feel, no matter if we get busted, we get bankrupt, none of those matters, nothing in the external, it's in the mindset. Now, have no expectations, but create a goal and reach your target. Work hard, that's all you need. You have to work hard and expect nothing from life. And only then will you not be anxious about the future. Only then will you be happy with those little simple things. When we don't expect anything, those blessings, those good things that we work for, they feel like blessings. They feel like good gifts given to us. Instead of expecting things in life, we have to work hard and not expect anything. Who agrees with that? Anybody? OK, good. Now, sometimes it's not really the future that makes us sad. Some of us, I don't know which one of you, but some of us is held back by our past. We have to forgive or else we'll be depressed about our past. There's nothing about our past that we can change, so we might as well accept it, right? Change the thing you can change and accept the things you can. Who here is affected by their past? Who put their hands up? Anyone willing to share? You're willing to share. Can you stand up, please? Can someone give him a mic? Thank you. Good afternoon, classmates. Uh, good afternoon, Theon. Hello. Theon. Hello. Uh, my biggest uh, challenges in the past was um, having a massive loss from applying what I've learned in technicals and uh, not really learning uh, applying intangibles first before uh, applying uh, uh, the technicals in my trading and not virtual trading first for uh, applying real money to my trades. Yeah, so yes. it's like work that's that like affects you, right? Yes, it's it keeps me from me from hold, um, putting more volume in my actual trades right now because uh, mm -hmm. I've been burned so bad in the past that uh, I'm I'm trying to not to revenge trade or uh, think of my previous loss to cover up for what my current trades are right now, but it's hard. Yeah, and, and you believe that that's holding you back, that that fear of more loss? Yes, more, more or less, because right now, um, it's like 25% uh, loss in my actual buying power from, from actual trading, so uh, I, don't, I don't want to incur more losses in the future. That, I, I mean, I understand that, that's, that's a lot, right? Yes. But the thing is, do you think that you not letting go of that, do you think that's creating you not to put in everything that you have? Because, you know, sometimes fear holds us back from our full potential. Do you agree with that? Yes, yes. And you being fearful and you being held back by the past, that could be a reason why it's not propelling and progressing the way it is. So the moment you let go and the moment you forgive yourself for those mistakes, that's the moment where you're going to see your full potential blossom. When you forgive yourself and the past that has happened, you learn from it, right? Hopefully you have. Yes, some, some uh, from, from my past life lessons from not related to trading. I, uh, I've seen that, uh, like, for example, forgiving my friends or family members that have yeah. hurt me from before, uh, it only progresses from there. But uh, in trading, it's like I, I haven't overcome that hurdle yet.
Well, hopefully, if I don't help you with that, impact does. But my suggestion to you is let go and start new. I know it's hard. It's very hard. But the moment you let go, I promise you, when you forgive yourself for all of that, it, it'll get a lot better. You won't be scared. The reason I'm here today, this is my very first speech. So yay for me. Congratulations. <laughs> But the, no, the reason that I'm here is because I'm not afraid of nothing. Every opportunity you get, you take it and you move forward. Only then will you know your full potential. If I fail today at speaking to each and every one of you, it's okay because I will learn and I'll grow from it. Like you, I believe that that experience made you learn and I know that the next couple of trades and whatever, it'll be a lot better. It'll be 200 times better or whatever it is, but who, who believes in this guy? Let, let's give him an applause. And what was your name again? What's your name? Uh, JC. Daisy? JC. JC. Yes. Okay, well, he's going to get the first prize. It's Cloud9 chocolate. Thank you. <laughs> it's my favorite chocolate. Thank you so much. Thank you for being brave enough to share your story. Thank you, Mr. Leon. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. So that you have to forgive your past and just let go because only then will you see your full potential blossom. There's no way being stuck in the past will make you better. It'll, it will make you depressed, right? That's what depression is about. And imagine your past and your trauma as a balloon. The more inflated it gets, if it gets too big, it will burst. And that's bad. That's why, you know, some people commit suicide, too much problems. You have to let go. You have to form yourself and be better from your past. Only then can you see your capability, your strength. That's why you're here today, because of your past. And I can see that each and every one of you, you have the potential to be successful. And now we know that sometimes it's not our past or our future that's holding us back, right? Sometimes it's ourselves. Sometimes we don't have enough self-love, maybe not in a narcissistic way, but sometimes our love for ourselves is what we lack, what we miss. Because I think all of us here has fears that we don't want to conquer, and we're scared to face those fears because we're scared of failure. But you all know that you're the only one holding your ba you back. The failures that's in your mind who, who cares? Like, you're going to fail anyways at everything. Maybe not everything you're going to fail at, but if you don't try, then you've already failed. You're scared to try new things. You're scared to advance. You're scared to better yourself because you don't love yourself enough to forgive yourself when those bad things happen. Right? For nodding your head, I'm going to give you a chocolate bar too. You want? <laughs> Can you catch? There we go. Oh wait, give this guy a one too, because he said he was insecure here. <laughs> I have two more, so if people want cloud nine, you better put your hands up. Okay, later, okay, I'll save this one for you. Wait a sec. Not yet, okay. But I guess every one of you love yourself enough to try new things. But as a 20 year old, as somebody who grew up in this generation full of social media, you guys all have social media, right? Yes? Yes. Oh, come on, louder. Yes! Okay, woo, social media. But that thing makes us depressed. Sometimes we compare ourselves. And when we stop comparing ourselves, God, you would do so much more things. Like, what's holding you back, what's making you sad, is because you're scared of the future, you're depressed of the past, or you either don't love yourself. And one more thing, it's probably because you don't feel like you have a purpose in this life. When we feel like we're nothing, we're worthless, how can we be happy? No one's happy when they feel like they amount to nothing. And that's where self-love comes from. But our purpose in life, each and every one of us, no matter what your job is, our purpose is to serve others. Who agrees with that? Yeah? Oh, you're all nice people. Congratulations. May God bless you. So our purpose in life is to serve other people through our work, whatever it is. And when we do that, we feel more fulfilled. 
you know, the moment when somebody um, smiles at you, even just a smile, when you're having a bad day, look, look at the people beside you and just smile. Smile genuinely. <laughs> smile. See? Doesn't that already make you happy? See how fast that is? I would give all of you guys a chocolate bar because you smiled, but I don't... Maybe later I don't have enough money. <laughs> They're not paying me. <laughs> but, see, that little thing, that makes us happy. So why do we not do that to others? Why is it sometimes we're unkind to one another? Serving others doesn't always mean you serve others through your job, through your work. Sometimes serving, not sometimes, all the time. Serving each other means being kind to one another. And you saw that, right? You saw how just one smile makes your day. Yes or no? Yes. yes. So who here is going to be happy even though with the cranky person beside you, I'm not saying the person beside you is cranky, but maybe they are. Wait, which one looks cranky? My tita looks cranky, but it's okay. Hi, tita. Okay, you're not allowed to take videos. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm making her happy. I'm going to give you a chocolate bar. You're so cute. Okay, here you go. <laughs> so that we have to serve others to feel happy, to make the best of every day. You have to have no expectations of the future. Yes? Yes or no? Yes. yes. And you have to forgive yourself from your past. Yes or no? Yes. Okay, good enough. And you have to love yourself. And you have to serve others and be kind to feel more fulfilled and to have a better day. Yes. One more time. You have to be kind and serve others to have a better day. Yes. yes. Okay. So those are the four tricks to a happier mind. How many of you guys think you'll implement it in your life? One, two. I'm waiting until everyone's hands is up. Okay, well, thank you. And that's it. That's pretty much the trick to a happier mind. Change your mindset, change your expectations, and all of that. And I promise you, every single day of your life, if you implement these, you'll be as happy as me, Gandhi, whoever you aspire to be. So, I'm Theo and Avalos, and... Thank you for your time.